we're built of cells. And with a cell, it's the skin that decides about interactions and encounters. We call this a place for encounter and learning. And we have a big skin that invites people here. I personally think that the building is quite uh, animal-esque. There's some fantastic sequences where the way that the, the digital lighting is programmed almost feels like it's a kind of organ. It's a kind of, um, it's almost pulsating. People are curious, people want to try to understand what's going on inside. It was really brave by the artists to, to give us the chance to innovate with this facade. And it's a real milestone when it comes to media facade and especially zero energy media facade. We were lucky to meet uh, iArt. This is where we came up with this idea of this media mesh, a uh, kind of skin that would collect energy, but also be able to communicate. Actually, the LEDs are harvesting the energy during the day directly from the cell, which is attached. The photovoltaic element itself is part of the solution and helps us to find a new aesthetic. The silicium-based solar power is very cumbersome and not flexible, so hence not really user-friendly for a round building. And iArt approaches with the idea to use organic photovoltaic. It's a novelty. It wasn't done before. On one hand, we have the direct post LEDs, which are giving a very sharp and crisp impression. And we have the indirect light um, falling on the inner surface, which then leads to the effect that we have a breathing surface. The art that you can see on the skin of the building is showing always at sunset. These pieces of art, they're not in brackets just art, they're science-inspired art. So it's artists who met with Navarte scientists to learn about the work, to learn about what matters. When we approached the artists, they were really excited um, to work with this facade and to learn to use it. For us, this was uh, actually the sign that we are on the right track, that this medium we, we designed is uh, interesting for, for artists to work with. This technological facade is something totally new within architecture, but it also gives the pavilion many, many possibilities to express itself in, in many different ways. We were able to build something which will be part of, of people's life in this neighborhood. I'm really hoping that the media facade becomes part of Basel. I, I, I think in, in a couple of months from now, you can't envision Basel without the media facade because it's such a beautiful and distinct visual. <laughs>